upon a time in a not so far away place with a lot of trees, there lived a bunch of fairy tale characters. Only that? Fine. Once upon a time in a not so far away place with a lot of trees, there lived a bunch of fairy tale characters. And something strange was happening. One day, a little girl named Red Riding Hood was getting ready to go visit her grandmother. And she was wearing her red cape. It was after six on a Sunday, so all the bakery stores were closed. So Little Red decided to bake a treat for her grandmother. Hey, that's not the way it happened. Who's telling the story? You are. Thank you. So Little Red decided to bake a gingerbread man. She took a little ginger. What's a little ginger? Hi, my name is Ginger, and I'm little. I guess you'll have to do. So she took a little ginger and mixed her with a loaf of bread, then popped the mixture into the oven. While she waited, she decided to watch some of the latest video on YouTube. But just as she was about to turn on the television, the electricity went out. The electricity went out. <clears throat> the electricity went out. Hey, up there in the booth, wake up! Oh, sorry. When the electricity came back on, Little Red Riding Hood was nowhere to be seen. At the same exact moment when the electricity came back on, the timer on the oven went off and the gingerbread person, and the gingerbread person jumped on off the oven. Run, 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 Riding Hood, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Um, um, excuse me, Nero, to people? Yes. I'm not a man. <sighs> I know that, and the audience knows that. But nothing else, Riding Hood, can. You can't just say, run, 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 as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm a gingerbread person now, can you? Watch me. Run, 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 Red Riding Hood as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread person. So what are you going to do now, huh? Well, we can get a fox to eat you right now, but I guess we'll just let you run around something silly. But guess what? What? Little Red Riding Hood has disappeared, so you have no one to run away from. Oh no, what do I do now? I'm so glad you asked. Now, as you all know, gingerbread people love to run. And Little Red's disappearance had gotten the gingerbread person so upset that she took off running from Little Red's house very fast. Run fast! <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other side of the forest, Hansel and Hansel's wicked stepmother. You mean Hansel's and Gretel's wicked stepmother? No, we don't. Hansel and Hansel's wicked stepmother gave the identical twin brothers a pack of rice cakes and told them, Go off into the woods and find me the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, which is somewhere deep in the forest. When Hansel began the... So Hansel and Hansel took off to find the pot of gold. I'm hungry. Well, we've got these rice cakes that with the stem on gave us. Rice cakes, yuck, you eat them. I'm not gonna eat them, you eat them. Yuck, I'd rather eat dirt. Hey, I've got an idea. Better be good. I think it is. Wicked stepmom sent us out here to find some silly pot of gold that doesn't even exist. She really sent us out here hoping that the witch that likes to eat little treasure will catch us and eat us. Hey, you're not supposed to know that. We're telling the story. We called the psychic phone line this afternoon. 
suddenly a giant stepped on both of them. No! No! Just kidding. Anyway. 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 Your idea. Right. We can make a path out of these rice cakes. Unless the birds eat them. Which I don't think they will. Nobody likes eating these things. Hey, I do. You would. So Henzo and Henzo begin leaving a trail of rice cakes and begin running and begin going walk deeper and deeper into the woods. An hour passed when they heard some strange sound in some bushes. Hensel, did you hear that? Yeah, it was my tummy. I'm no, hungry. the strange sound in the bushes. It's probably the mysterious, the scary, mysterious creature the psychic told us about. She was right about that one. I always thought those phone lines were a ripoff. Anyway, a strange, a strange, mysterious creature appeared from behind the bushes and began approaching Hansel and Hansel. Take him! Take him! Hansel, a last minute effort. Which one? That one. Pulled out a rice cake and held it in front of him to try to protect him from evil figures. No fair! Sorry. The mysterious evil figure used her powers to drag Hansel away. No fair! Hansel always gets the big part. <clears throat> there are no small parts, only small handles. Now, get back to trees again. Hanzo decided to continue searching in the woods to try to find a way to rescue his kidnapped brother. Meanwhile, the gingerbread person was run still running running so fast that she didn't even notice Cinderella coming in the other direction. Oh, excuse me. That's quite all right. Just look where you're going from now on. Gingerbread person was still very excited. Momently, she forgot about Red Riding Hood's strange difference. She looked up at Cinderella and said, Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm a gingerbread person. No, wait just a minute. You're a giant walking talking cookie. You're pretty smart for a princess. Thank you. I had some problem adjusting to dwarfs and a talking bird, and now a giant walking talking cookie. Yep, it sounds completely illogical, but this is a fairy tale. Remember? But why were you running so fast? That's what gingerbread people do. Suddenly, gingerbread person noticed a golden goose in the middle of the path. Oh, look at that. What? That, that block of wood. Excuse me, the already people, but do you really expect us to believe that that block of wood is a golden goose? Yes, we do. Pretend. Well, you're really pushing it. <clears throat> that, that golden goose. I wouldn't touch that if I were you. Junior red person who had still a lot to learn about her life. Ignored Cinderella's advice and picked up the golden goose. See? Nothing happened. Oh yeah, try to put it down. It's stuck. Yup, it's stuck. All right. Help me get it off! Yo! Help me! No, don't touch me! Run, run, run as fast as you can! Oh, we're stuck. Now you've got to figure out a way to get unstuck. Ain't gonna happen anytime soon. Well, as long as we're stuck together, you can call me Ginger. It's probably a lot easier than saying gingerbread person all the time. I'm Cinderella, but you can call me Cindy. You're that person with that fairy godfather. I had a fairy godfather. What happened? He disappeared. Poof. Isn't that what fairy godfathers are supposed to do then reappear at times when you need them? Well. I need a fabulous new gown for the ball, and he knows that if I don't have a fabulous new ball gown, that I'll just die. You're in quite a jam. Sounds like he's disappeared, just like Red Riding Hood. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's go look for them. And they did.
Later that day, a rich hazel stood beneath a tall tower. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Rapunzel, let down your hair, now! Rapunzel, I'm going to count to three. One, two, two and a half, three. Actually, I've got that home prom kit that you saw advertised on television. It'll make your hair just like Beyonce's. Excuse me, Hazel, but do you think it's possible that Rapunzel's disappeared? Ran off with some studly prince more like it. Well, we think she's disappeared. Oh, well, I think you're bothering me. If you don't hush up your mouth, I'm going to turn you into a toad. What was that? Sniffly, one of the seven drafts. Hush up, bro, I'll turn you into an eggplant. Excuse me, but have you seen Snow White? No, you vile rat snotty nose creature. I haven't seen Snow White since my sister gave that poisoned apple. Well, she's disappeared. My sister? No, Snow White. Well, I'll be sure to let my sister know that next time I have her over tea and frog legs. I just hope she doesn't bring that annoying mirror to her. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Everyone knows it's me. Trolls worship me, ogres are begging to marry me. Excuse me, Hazel, we all know how beautiful you are. <coughs> but you're slowing the story down. Maybe the dwarf has stolen Rapunzel. Me? Yes, you short snotty one, you stole my Rapunzel. Did not. Did too. Did not, wart face. I'll get you, my pretty. And your little dog, too. What dog? Rumpless Toltskin, Barney Toot, I'll lock you up in a funky zoo! You stole my wand, give it back! You'll first ca have to catch me first. I got you now. You look awfully familiar. Do you know my stepfather? Oh yes, charming woman. Now give me back my wand. I can't. It's stuck. What do you mean it's stuck? It's just stuck. He's right. It's this plastic golden goose. Drats. Have you seen Snow White? You know, you really should try some suit of it. Over-the-counter medicine is so good these days. Over-the-counter medicine is so good these days. If I have my wand, I'm going to turn you all into a counter. I'm already a good counter. One, two, three. Suddenly, there was a loud, horrible noise in the distance. Oh, oh no. no! It's Sleeping Ugly! Yes, Sleeping Beauty had an unfortunate microwave accident prior to falling into a deep sleep. The accident caused her DNA to rearrange and turn her into an incredibly ugly princess. And the only way that she would be awakened was if her true love touched her. Then her true love would be hers forever. Is that hideous child sleepwalking again? It sounds like it. No, I'm not your prince. Go away, don't touch me. <laughs> well, you've got a really bad morning breath. She's been sleeping for five years. What do you expect? You know, most dentists recommend Listerine for fighting bad breath. But I don't have any Listerine. Well, I passed a convenience store while I was running away from the dark, mysterious creature. Maybe we could get some Listerine there. And some food. I'm starting to get hungry. I'm getting hungry too. If I wasn't stuck, I'd eat you up. You're not going to eat my person, you're going to eat me first. <laughs> 
Not with that breath. I'm not. Rolf, to the convenience store! To, to the, the convenience store! store! So they went off to Goldilocks' convenience store. came back. Goldilocks waited for them to come back, but after three days she claimed squatter's rights and turned the bear's cottage into a convenience store. Shortly before Cinderella and the rest of the stuck together chain of characters arrive at the store, Goldilocks was closing up shop. But just as she locked the door, the big bad pig came knocking on the door. of gas, meaning too many wolves that day. Let me in. Go home, we're closed. Let me in, let me in. Not by the hair of my chin and chin chin. Hey, wait a minute. I don't have any hair on my chin. You have a bare skin rug? Oh yeah, not by the hair of my bare skinny skin skin rug. Then I'll snuff and I'll snort and I'll blow your sword in. Go right ahead. I've been wanting to remodel it and insurance will cover it. Go home, you silly swine. This time, the big bad pig threw the store store down. Well, I'll be monkey's uncle. How can I help you? Well, I've got real bad gas. I want something to make me feel better. Well, if you'd stop eating those poor wolves and become a vegetarian, maybe you wouldn't be having these problems. Please, Miss Lux, help me feel better. How do you spell leaf? R O. L-A-I-D-S. Very good. And here you go. That'll be five fairy tale dollars. Thank you. Come again. Great, now I'm stuck between a pig and a princess. Goldilocks, what happened to your hair? The peroxide was making it too dry, so I let it go back to my natural color. We need a few things. Can I help you? We need some extra strength mouthwash or dragon breath over there. And something to make his nose stop running. Well, I've got some Sudafed for the dwarf. And how about some Listerine for the princess with the not so pleasant breath? We'll, we'll take, take them. them! Great, that'll be 10 bucks for the mouthwash and 15 for the cold medicine. Hey! That's highway robbery! Hey, I'm the only store open in the forest right now. I can charge what I feel like charging. I'm a Monopoly. I like to play Monopoly. Here's the mouthwash. <laughs> Let go of it. I can't. It's stuck. Ugh. If Rapunzel was in her tower, I wouldn't be here right now having a deal with mer mortals and a talking pig and a talking cookie. What? Rapunzel's missing? Yes, Rapunzel's missing. So's my fairy godfather. Well, I ate him. Oh, thanks a lot. Now, how am I supposed to get a new gown for the ball? I'm just kidding. Fairies taste good, but they leave a very bad aftertaste. I don't know where your fairy godfather is. My brother's missing. Red Riding Hood is missing. Snow White is missing. And I'm almost missing all of my teeth. Well, it doesn't surprise me. You haven't brushed him in five years. <laughs> Enough bickering. Let's go look for all these missing people. And look for them they did. They looked all over the forest. 
They were all about to give up when they stumbled across Hanzo and Hanzo's rice cakes and, be, and decided to follow them back to Hanzo and Hanzo's wicked stepmother's house. Hey, open up! Sleeping Beauty, Hansel, Hazel, Sniffly, Cindy, Ginger, Goldie, Hansel, I told you to bring me the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Not all your friends. I'm sorry, but Hansel can't play right now. He has to come inside and get his spanking. But wicked stepmom, these aren't my friends. They're all stuck to me. Lies, lies, all of them lies. I've had enough of your childish behavior. Wicked stepmom, I am a child. I don't care, you're getting a spanking. Move out of my way. I said move out of my way, little girl. You're stuck. This is infuriating. Oh, my little girl, your hair looks awfully dry and brittle. Well, up until a few days ago, I was putting a lot of chemicals in it. Well, I'm not just a wicked stepmom. I'm also a wicked Avon lady, and Avons have a new conditioner that will do wonders for your hair. Help! Help! Hansel, how many times have I told you to just stop telling me stories? <laughs> but he's telling the truth. I've got one of her eggs in my back pocket. Kidnap all of Fairytale Land? You're a mean and nasty duck. Mother duck to you, honey. No! Oh no! Not Mother Duck! Yes, Mother Duck. You see, Mother Goose had retired, and Mother Duck wasn't hired to fill in Mother Goose's position. <laughs> Mother Duck didn't even know you. This is not I'm going to hold you all hostage into my book of Nash Ranges. Public. You'll never see a can of tuna fish again. Why? Nursery rhymes are awful. They don't even rhyme. And who said nursery rhymes had to rhyme? They do. That's why they're called nursery rhymes. Oh yeah. Well, these are better because they don't rhyme. Listen to my latest one. Jack and Jill went up the mountain to fetch a two-liter bottle of lightly carbonated natural spring water. Jack fell down and busted his kneecap. And Jill got a sprained ankle. Boo! Well, you're all coming on scene until my book gets published. <laughs> I'm stuck. What else? You. So if I kidnap you, I'll have to kidnap me too? You really are a wise quacker. If I have my wand, I'll be able to fix this problem. Then I'll turn you all into a box of crackers. Why do we have to keep fighting? Fighting is not going to let us get anywhere. At least I got my prince. And I've got cooties. Maybe Sleeping Ugly has a point. And what's the point? We're all going to have to learn to live together. Yeah, but it's going to be awfully hard trying to take a bath together. Wait a minute, I've got an idea. Maybe if those people watching us, the ones that are sitting out that way, mm -hmm. if they would clap their hands together, maybe, just maybe, Tinkerbell might appear and save us. Tinkerbell, Schminkerbell. That's a good idea. Get the audience to help us. Okay, you heard them. They need your help. On the count of three, clap. I'm a good counter. Okay, Ginger, count. On, two, three. Louder, louder. Look, it's Tinkerbell! Tinkerbell! What is she saying? She's saying that she's going to turn us all into goons. No, she is not. What she's saying is that if you all recite one of Mother Duck's rhymes, you'll all get unstuck. 
I don't believe it. Well, um, she's, what is she saying this time? She's saying that she's late for a dentist appointment and she's got to run. Lights back up. So Mother Duck met the group in reciting one of her nursery rhymes. Jack Sprat could eat no saturated or unsaturated fat. Jack Sprat could eat no saturated or unsaturated fat. And his wife couldn't eat any either. And, and his, his wife, wife couldn't, couldn't eat, eat any either. So they bought and ate lots of no fat foods. So they bought and they ate lots of no fat foods. So there. So there. After they recited the poem, they found out that they were still stuck. <laughs> it didn't work. They were still stuck. I told you her rhymes weren't good for anything. Hey, you better watch it, pork chop! Where is that silly fairy? I think I see her over there. Let's get her! Tinkerbell! <laughs> stuck together ever after. The end.